Hello and welcome. You're joining me, Josh MC, in the very first episode of MC Tech. Today we will only be covering the very basics of the game. I know anyone who plays can tell you that Minecraft can be very overwhelming, especially for new players. So hopefully this series will make all of its viewers ready to take on the amazing sandbox game. Moving on, the very basics of the game include things like launching or opening the game, the main menu or title screen, single player, creating a world, and basic knowledge of the game itself. For starters, Minecraft was made by a single man named Marcus Person, or more commonly known as Notch. On May 17, 2009, Notch released what is known as Minecraft Classic, which can be played for free in the browser only. From then until November 18, 2011, Minecraft went through various alpha and beta stages, until finally being released as Minecraft 1.0. Minecraft is currently in its 1.2.5 release state. I will cover that a little later. Now that we have those details out of the way, let's begin. To launch Minecraft, all you have to do is double click the icon that is on your desktop or wherever you have it placed. It's that simple. Now that this window here has popped up, you can now log in and begin your adventure. But first, I'm going to go over a few quick things that are here in the launcher as well. Over here on the left, we have Minecraft News, which mostly consists of lists of different patches or versions of the game as they're released. And at the top, there's normally some type of merchandise or store link as well, like shown here. And over here on the right, we have different links to different places, such as Mojang Employees Twitter accounts, Minecraft forums, and various development blogs. To log in, all you have to do is put your username, like I have here in the username box, and your password in the password box. And you can press log in. Now what happens when you press log in is it will check and make sure you have bought the game and load up Minecraft. When the game finally launches up, you'll see this screen here. There are six buttons that you can click. They are single player, multiplayer, texture packs, options, quick game and this little icon here which is for languages. We will go over that a little later as well. We're going to click the single player button. When you click it, a screen like this should open up. There are five available buttons. Play selected world, create new world, rename, delete, and cancel. These three buttons here should be a little darker shade where you cannot click them and the create new world and cancel buttons should be lighter shades and allowing you to click them. We're going to click the create new world. The cancel just takes you back to the main menu or title screen. In the create new world screen we have multiple options a little more interactive. Here we have the world name. This is what you want to call the world. And now below that we have the game mode. There are three game modes. The first one is survival. You have to search for resources, you can craft, you gain levels, and you have health and hunger. If we click it once, we move on to the hardcore game mode. It is very similar to survival, except it is locked at the hardest difficulty. There are three. And you only have one life, meaning if you die, it deletes the world. We will click it once more and go to the creative game mode where you have unlimited resources, you can fly, and you can destroy blocks instantly. Finally, we're going to click it again to return to survival, as that's where we're going to leave it. And we have this button here called More World Options. In this bar here, you can type in pretty much anything, and it creates a seed for the world, which is just a bunch of numbers for how it generates or creates the world. We're going to leave it blank for a random seed. And this button here is Generate Structures. If you leave it on, it generates villages, dungeons, and a few other things and if you turn it off it does not. We're going to leave it on for a little bit more excitement. Now the world type button is either default or super flat. Default is just a regular world with hills and valleys and rivers and mountains and other things and a super flat is well what it says it's super flat it's completely flat there's nothing there. It will generate structures though. So we're going to put it back to default and now we're going to click done and it's going to take us back here Cancel will take us back to the single player menu, but right now we're going to name the world MC Tech for the series, of course. Now, we're going to create a new world, and I'll see you on the flip side.
Thanks for joining me here on episode 1 of MC Tech. On episode 2 we will be covering the very basics of surviving the very beginning, which can be even more overwhelming and scary if you don't know what you're doing. I'll see you guys next time and don't forget that we really appreciate your rates and comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.